Blood Feud is a tabletop RPG about power, honor, and toxic masculinity. Designed by Alf Malmberg and Amos Pearson, this game has you play as Vikings in pre-Christian Scandinavia. Players collaboratively tell a thoughtful generational drama about relationships, competition, and social consequences. To play Blood Feud, you need three to four players, 10 index cards, and about 30 tokens, which could be beads, coins, anything you have on hand. There's no GM required for this game. Character creation is simple. Your character has a name, nickname, traits, relations, and wants. Traits are chosen from a list, which includes things like, I have a strong son, and I fear death. Your character also wants something from another character. This book provides examples such as, I want to explain what happened, I want him to love me, and I want him to repay his debt. Blood Feud is played through a series of scenes. While all of the player characters are men, women still play a significant role. There's at least one woman in each scene to represent the rest of society, and if all of the women in a scene leave, it ends. There are seven moves your character can make. Sharing someone's bed, giving someone a gift, commenting on a woman's appearance, praising someone, insulting someone, escalating, and striking a deadly blow. There are brief descriptions of each move, which also provide historical context. When a character chooses to escalate, they create a conflict. Their opponent has three options. Escalate further, yield, or strike a deadly blow. If they choose the third option, it not only ends the conflict, but also their opponent, who can choose to strike a deadly blow back before they fall. This can also create generational feuds between families as they try to avenge their loved ones. The book has examples of play throughout it to show how the rules are applied, and there are also nice little fold-out rules references that you can use during the game. Blood Feud also has instructions on how to explain the game to other players at the table, which is really helpful and not something I normally see in these games. The game ends with a debrief that has questions for the players to answer. There's also some very helpful lists of names that you can use. I found Blood Feud to be an extraordinarily clever game that was easy to read with a satisfying layout. Thank you to IPR for sending me this copy. You can get Blood Feud for yourself at the website Indie Press Revolution, which also carries my game Anamnesis.